Welcome to American Broadcasting Station. Kindly subscribe now for more updates. Russia's state TV host and guests have said that World War III has started and noted Ukraine could be just the beginning of a potentially larger conflict with the West. Russian propagandists and government officials look beyond Ukraine and threaten the collective West on Kremlin-controlled state television, World War III has started. She said. Russia's special operation in Ukraine has ended in a sense that a real war had started, World War III, host Olga Skabiva said. We're forced to conduct the demilitarization, not only of Ukraine, but of the entire NATO alliance. But a great number of people are lining up trying to interfere in Russia's special operation on the territory of Ukraine, Skabiva said. Turns out, we have to act, but we're yet to figure out how we can act without conducting a nuclear strike. Associate Professor of World Politics at Moscow State University Alexei Fenenko added that the larger conflict with the West was possible in future. For us, the war in Ukraine is a rehearsal, he said. Rehearsal for a possible bigger conflict in the future. We'll test and compare NATO weapons to our own. We'll find out on the battlefield how much stronger our weapons are than theirs. This may be a learning experience for our future conflict, it's a scary experiment. Despite these claims, Russia's military operation in Ukraine has not gone as planned, according to analysts. As Putin's war in Ukraine closes in on the 100-day mark, several analysts said his forces have yet to secure a decisive advantage despite the fact that he's pouring billions of dollars into the campaign. Russia's original plan was that it would be a war of annihilation, in which a 48 to 72 hours campaign would crush Ukraine's government, its leaders arrested or killed, and a new government installed to do Russia's bidding, Northwestern University political science professor William Reno told American Broadcasting Station. Instead, the Ukrainians fought back, and now we're helping to keep them in the fight, he said. Russia's army isn't turning out to be so great. Kindly subscribe for more updates on our channel.